So if you guys have been following me on TikTok, you know I have a giant African land snail called Rocket. Well, recently I've made an order online for a brand new snail enclosure and some other bits and pieces and a brand new friend. It has arrived today in the post, guys, and I'm going to unbox it all with you right now. This is it, guys. It's um, it's quite big. It's actually a custom um, enclosure, so it's got like a built-in heat pad and stuff. And um, a built-in heat pad, uh, no fruit flies can get in, and like built-in ventilation system so they get some air. So yeah, I can't wait to unbox this. I've just taken the lid off, guys, and all the cling film that was wrapping up, and everything is in here. Um, as you can see here, this is the built-in like heat pad, which I ordered with it, so that it's actually built onto the enclosure. So yeah, let's get opening all this stuff. I've taken everything out of it, guys. It's all empty now. It is a nice big enclosure. It's got nice padded outline here. And um, yeah, the this is the plug obviously that connects to the heat pad. But yeah, let's get on to the more exciting stuff. Obviously when I move Rocket and Turbo, that's his name guys, Turbo, um, into the new enclosure, obviously they need substrate, which is just like ground, it needs to be moist. Um, I'm gonna use the substrate from Rocket's enclosure right now to put in that one, then if it needs more, just top it up with this one. Um, got their protein mix right here, which is like, um, they can have it twice a week. Um, Rocket didn't like the other one, so I'm hoping they both like this one. And snails love moss, like wet, damp, mossy stuff that you find in the forest. So that goes in the enclosure as well. Just a little bit, like, in bits of, like, places, little places that they like. And sometimes they like to hide under it. Um, what else do I get? Also got these. Um, giant Africa, when they get, obviously, really big, they won't be able to go in these. But um, I don't think Rocket will fit in these, but Turbo definitely will fit in these. But, um... Yeah, so this is like little hides they can go in if they want to go in there. And obviously I've got a thermometer so I know what the temperature is in their enclosure because it needs to be in between a certain temperature. So for them, because they're the same species, they can't, you can't have snails together if they're different species. Um, so that will tell me what the temperature will be in there. It needs to be in between 20 and 25 degrees. So um, that is doing it on its own at the minute, but I need the heat pad enclosure for the winter because obviously they're going to get really cold. And this is just like a, a seashell, which you put their little protein mix in and they can eat it out of that. Literally just like a feeding bowl for them. That's all that is. And I've just realized that I did order a tree stump in the parcel as well. It's like a big tree stump looking thing, like a natural real tree stump and then go in it and like under it. They would love it. And I've just only just realized that hasn't come. So I'm going to have to email the website and ask them where that is. Now you've seen the stuff, guys, let's put them in their new enclosure. But first, we're going to obviously set up and put everything in. So yeah, this is the fun bit. First thing we have to do to set up the enclosure, guys, is fix these thermometers to the enclosure. So we've got to like, put the probe in and this on the outside. It's a bit fiddly, but I'm going to do it now and show you when it's done. As you can see, guys, I've sorted out the thermometers. I've stuck them both there. One by the heat mat and one over here so I can regulate the temperature around the whole enclosure. I did make it look as tidy as possible. I think I did a pretty good job, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, so that is basically the hardest bit done because it is so fiddly. This is Rocket's old enclosure. I've just put the substrate in the enclosure, put their bits and pieces in. And yeah, this is their new one. There we go, guys. That is the new enclosure. It looks quite... I'm very happy with it, actually. It looks quite nice. Now it's time to put Rocket and Turbo in the enclosure. Got Rocket. He is getting very big. Ready to go to your new home? Let's put him in his new home. Right, Rocket, we're going to put you right here very carefully. There we go. Now to get Turbo. Turbo is a bit smaller than Rocket, as you can see, but I put Turbo there. So hopefully, guys, they are going to absolutely love their new enclosure. That is not my normal type of video, guys. I just thought you guys asked me about Rocket all the time, so I thought I'd do a video about setting up their new enclosure. Plus, I got a new snail, so I thought you guys would like the YouTube video of me, you know, transferring enclosures and showing you Turbo. So, yeah, if you did like, guys, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>